Hey, what's up, people? That's zoomed in. Wow. Hey, what's up, people? I'm the Nerd on the Street, and this is my first video in quite a while. I have been quite getting quite a bit of subscribers, mostly due to my Tech It server. I am so glad I did that, because I'm getting so many more subscribers. My subscribers have more than doubled. Uh, let me explain to you why I actually know I'm not going to do that just yet. This video is going to be one video, or, of course, it's one video, um, I'm just gonna start and explain to you while we're waiting for things to load and such. I am installing Ubuntu 12.04.1, uh, not my first choice, but you know what, it's a good operating system and I require it right now. I'll tell you why in a minute, but right here we do have OpenSUSE 12.1, 12.2. Sorry, it's 12.2, OpenSUSE 12.2. Once again, I apologize that I'm using a CRT. I love CRTs so much more than regular monitors. However, they're not the best for making videos with, um, there we are. So as you can see here, there's my Trinitron CRT. And this is OpenSUSE running with GNOME right now. I've already tried KDE and XFace first. Now there's GNOME on here. Checking for updates. And you know, I'm probably gonna do a cutscene here. So, yeah. Why don't I just zoom out? Why do I? Oh, that's zooming in. Okay, you know what? Um, forget that. I'm just going to skip right ahead and install Ubuntu because I am not wasting another disk on an operating system I'm not going to install. I have done that too many times thinking that I'd use things and then not using them. Um, and it really is just a plain old waste. So, uh... So here we are. Haven't installed Ubuntu in a while. I went to Windows for a little bit. Yeah, Windows. Uh, and then to OpenSUSE for quite a while, which I was quite happy with. But, yeah, I'll, I'll tell you the whole story as we go along. Here we are. Alright, so there's our nice Ubuntu loading screen. I always liked the older one better that had the uh, bar bouncing back and forth. But, uh, yeah. So, we'll start with the most recent thing. Why am I installing Ubuntu? Uh, I am installing Ubuntu because I had an OpenSUSE 12.1 installation, but uh, I broke that because I was experimenting a little too much. So, I went to install it again, and my disk apparently was corrupt, which was ridiculous, because I had one corrupt disk, and I burned another for 12.1, and that one worked, but now it's corrupt, apparently. So, I I installed Windows XP for three days, um, until, because it was literally three days until OpenSUSE 12.2 came out, and I wanted the new version if I was going to burn another disk on it. Um, but 12.2, it installs fine, except when I change the resolution um, to a higher resolution, uh, than 1024 by 768. Anything that or lower would work fine, but when I upped it, then it would um, have some display error or another, and they weren't just small errors, they were like, you couldn't use it errors. So, yeah. Alright, good. It's detecting my wireless card. Thank God. Um... That's one plus for Ubuntu already, because I did not have fond memories with Ubuntu uh, particularly, but, you know, that it could have been extraneous circumstances that caused that. So I am giving it another chance and trying it out again. So there, we've connected to my Wi-Fi network. Um, yeah, with my laptop that I had before, I had a Broadcom wireless card. So I had to go downstairs and plug it in every time, but if it didn't detect this Wi-Fi card, I'd be screwed because I can't carry a workstation uh, downstairs to plug into our Ethernet. So, all right, we're going to click install because try never worked too great, and I already know I'm installing it. So it has at least 4.5 gigs of space. That's a lot. It's connected to the Internet. All right, download updates. Yes, install third-party software. Yes. Continue. Um, so yeah, 12.2 had 
errors, so I got this. Install Ubuntu. Replace OpenSUSE with Ubuntu. Wait. Why don't we just do something else? Swap. We will change. We will use it as a swap area. Good. Uh, this we will format. We will use it as that, and we will mount it there. Bam. Install now. That was quick. Uh, that was fast. Okay. Oh, no, I forgot. All right. So now we're doing all of this good stuff. It automatically detected Chicago. That's good. I'm not in Chicago, but that's my thing. All right. English, English. U.S., U.S. All right. Username. Oh, my name. Your computer's name, i7 workstation. Jacob, password. My password's really not all that weak, but require my password to log in. Why wouldn't I? Alright, let's take a look at this. It's not easier than ever. Um, so, yeah, now that I have why I'm installing Ubuntu out of the way. I'm going to read this real fast, because I just love slideshows like this. The Ubuntu Software Center has thousands of new applications ready for your computer. I already know most of this stuff, but... I can get pumped into things with fancy advertising really easily, so... At least I recognize it, though. Now, personal cloud. I love Ubuntu One. I love it! The only thing is, it's only really good if you have more than one computer using Ubuntu. Because it syncs your settings, it syncs your files, it can sync all sorts of things, but only really with Ubuntu computers. I mean, there's a Windows client, but that's really not the same experience. But if I had more than one computer running Ubuntu, I would love Ubuntu One. Um, so yeah. Okay, so now that that's done, um, about my Tekkit server, the other reason I haven't been uploading many videos lately is because I didn't have a lot of time to fix this, because I was spending a lot of time on the Tekkit server, I was kind of pointing to it, I'm not just waving, but, um, let's open the details here, there we are, um, but, yeah, my Ubuntu server, I'm, hi Ubuntu, jeez, uh, my Tekkit server, Hey, it has been something. Um, let me tell you, it has been something. I I have had to put a lot of work into my Tekkit server. Uh, and it just, I never intended for it to be that big of a thing. Honestly, my Tekkit server, I was like, you know, maybe I'll have it online a couple of hours a week and me and a couple of people from YouTube can play some Minecraft but it's actually gotten quite a few people I I can have up to like 15 well I can have up to 20 people at a time but I've had it to where I've had like 9 10 people on the server at one time and that's a lot I've had to deal with griefers I've had to deal with permissions I did add a couple of administrators so I had to work out permissions because before that I didn't have to do anything with permissions but then I had to install, luckily, uh, Essentials, Minecraft Essentials is making it very easy. I'm, um, I have Essentials, Essentials Groups, Essentials Chat, which I added all of those at different times, not at the same time. I added them as they became needed. But I also have LWC. I asked people if they wanted Townie, but um, it appears that LWC is okay, although they've started asking for factions. So I'm like, I might end up getting towny. But yeah, um, it's just been I something that really I've had to dedicate myself to running the server. And I didn't expect to have to do that. Honestly, I, yeah, I thought that it would be a quick little project. Might take off, might not. I mean, just like my website. I used to own a website called jkthesite.com. 
I do not own the domain anymore, so if you go there, I, I am not in control of whatever is there. But, um, but yeah, I, I started it, and I was actually hoping for more with my website, because I had a ton of stuff on there. I had a live web show, I had games, I had a chat room and a guest book and all that good stuff. I had my blog, um, but it really didn't take off. And I was expecting that to be kind of how this whole server thing would go. But no, people are looking for smaller servers because I, um, you know, bigger servers, they have more griefing protection. They have more administrators, but you pay a price for that. For instance, nukes are banned on a lot of servers. Nukes are not banned on my server. Nothing is banned on my server. There are no rules except don't be a jerk. Um, if you're, like, hurting people or destroying their stuff, then that's against the rule, but if, you, if you're, if you you know, minding your own business, uh, then you can do whatever the heck you want um, on my server, and people seem to like that, uh, which I like that people like that, but then they're also expecting me to be on there 24-7 helping them out, um, being their tech support when they don't remember how to make a certain item, which normally when they ask me a question, you know what I do? I Google it, but they should really start Googling things for themselves, because I don't have time for that if I'm doing this. Uh, if I'm, you know, focusing on my Ubuntu installation, I don't have time for it. You know, I'm just going to stop using, you know, I know it looks better when I'm doing hand emotions, but it really looks kind of creepy when it's just a hand, so. Um, but yeah, it's, it, it's required a lot of dedication. I do have two administrators now. No, you cannot be an administrator. No, I am not giving you creative mode. Um, but, yeah, because people have been asking that. We only have one town building, uh, that I officially endorse, and it's made out of bedrock. So, that's how I officially endorse it. I'm the only one who can really screw with that. But, yeah, um, it's, my server is a hit, which I'm happy about. And I, I'm happy that I am making people happy, because I am providing them with a good, small community server. Um, uh, there are quite a few issues that come with that though. For instance, the only griefing protection... Oh, restart now. The only griefing protection um, that I have is uh, manual backups that I do. Like, I try and do them once a day, which it, it, it seems to work better than people think. People are like, oh hey, another plus for Ubuntu real quick. It ejected the disk automatically because OpenSUSE 12.1 did not do that. Alright, so neither of my disks are labeled, so I have to remember which is which, <laughs> too. But yeah, press enter. Um, but yeah, uh, we've had lots of griefing problems, which we fix it all the time. And it's not like you log on and there's just griefing everywhere, because we ban the, gr the griefers and s stuff. So I, I had gotten threatened by a professional hacker um, that I was going to get hacked, apparently. But yeah, um, no, everything's been going good on the Tekkit server. It's just that it, it's been taking a lot more out of me than I thought it would. So I apologize for that because that has dragged down the quality of my YouTube channel. That has dragged down the quality of the server. And yeah, all right, just so you know, once again, that black thing there, right there, that one, uh, that is not actually on the screen. Um, that's a byproduct of the CRT. And, yeah, like, if somebody was standing behind the camera, then they would be like, what are you pointing to? Because uh, I'm looking right now, and it, yeah, looks like I'm just pointing to the whole screen. Like, it's just ridiculous. Have you ever recorded a CRT before? It's really fun, because you're like, oh, it's right here. It, looking at the camera, and then you look at the screen, and there's nothing there. So, yeah, um, and you know, that wouldn't actually be as bad if I had a lesser quality camera, but, um, I did make a video of installing OpenSUSE 12.2, by the way, um, but that one was, like, an hour, at least, it was over an hour, because I had me find, or er, trying to install the ISO on the, or, er, burn the ISO onto the disk, because I was using Windows XP, which doesn't have a built-in thing for that. Uh, and then I had to, I messed with the display problems and all of that. Um, 
this is almost 20 minutes. That this would be great if I could end it right now. So I'm I know I've been talking quite a f quite, uh, yeah. I'm talking so freaking fast I can't understand myself. But yeah, um that was weird. Does the color of the display actually affect how bad that effect is? That's huh. Anyways, this is the Ubuntu thing. I'll be doing some videos on Ubuntu because I haven't used it in a while. Um, and I totally know that if somebody comes to my channel and they see OS installation Ubuntu 12.04.1, they are going to think I am a noob because I automatically discard anyone who has an Ubuntu installation video on their uh, channel. I mean, I don't discard them like I X out of the window, but I discard them as in like they're not the most technical person but I, I do use other stuff. I use Windows and Hackintosh. I'd love it if I had a real Mac, but I don't. Um, I use OpenSUSE and Fedora. I, I switch to whatever I want, whatever I need to. And that's the great thing about Linux. If there's a bug in the newest version of OpenSUSE, I just switch to Ubuntu. If there's something in Ubuntu I don't like uh, with the interface, then I can just go over to Fedora. Um, and there are just infinite choices. And... Also, if there's something you really don't like that's in all the distributions, you can make your own distribution. You have the power to do that with Linux, and that's something I love about Linux. So yeah, I really want to get this video up uploaded really quick because I've got a lot of subscribers, new subscribers, uh, once again. And I really want to let them know that I am here and I am doing videos. So OpenSUSE 12.2 installation video coming soon. That will require a lot more editing though. I do have the rest of my How to Build a Computer series that I will be finishing. The only thing I have uploaded right now is installing the RAM. I will do some other stuff with that. I mean, I've already done them. I will upload some other stuff with that. And then I will upload uh, stuff about the TechIt server. I'll start recording things about Minecraft and TechIt soon and yeah I just sorry that I haven't been here very much recently but yeah it's just it's been crazy alright so uh so yeah I will see you later and I'm the nerd on the street and what's my sign off I don't have a sign off um I do have a little music thingy that was not on my tech it video. Yeah, that sucks. My tech it video is like has the most views out of everything in it. It wasn't even my good editing skills. That editing was not good because I had to use Windows Movie Maker on Vista. So, uh, but yeah, I'm the nerd on the street, and this was how to install Ubuntu. Um, sorry, I didn't say very much, but it's really pretty easy. Head over on, head over on, head on over to Ubuntu.com. Download Ubuntu. Try it. Just try it. Try Linux. Try OpenSUSE. Try Fedora. Try any distribution you want. Whatever appeals to you the most. Try the different desktop environments. GNOME, KDE. If you have no idea what I'm talking about, then um, go to Ubuntu.com and just try that. It, uh, go to DistroWatch.com. Uh, check that out. Um, if you have no idea what I'm talking about, leave me a comment and I will answer your specific questions. But this video just passed 21 minutes, so I really have to go before I start dragging on. I am the nerd on the street, and I will see you later. See ya.